discussions you are watching you're watching you guys are watching you're watching you're watching soulful discussion hey, how are you doing today hi good how are you doing great doing great how did our paths cross today how do you and i just meet right now uh, I'm a big believer in fate and chance. Okay. Um, I also believe in kind of living spur of the moment. So mm -hmm. I was on my way back to uh, Vegas where I live and I said, you know what? I want to hit the beach. Mm -hmm. It's one of those things, either you do it or you think about it and regret it. So I just decided to come here and then you cross right my path. Yeah, Absolutely. you're super nice. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. Um, what did I tell you we're going to be talking about today? What are the three topics I gave? Uh, you said mental health, reflexology, and feet. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. In terms of mental health, right, are there any topics that you research, you follow closely, anything like that? Um, so I was just talking to my sister actually about um, anxiety and different ways to, you know, help with that. Um, there's all sorts of natural ways. I'm pretty holistic. Mm -hmm. So for me, instead of just like, you know, taking medicine and thinking it's going to put a Band-Aid on a, a wound, I, I try to dig deep and even if it's uncomfortable just you know figure out what it is that kind of makes you comfortable going forward i like that yeah. i like that so today we're going to be talking a little bit about like social media like how it like the effects it has on you depression anxiety things mm -hmm. like that i like to get your thoughts once we get there okay yeah what about reflexology you ever heard of it i love it nice. yeah i'm i'm so I'm into it um especially with the hands and the feet uh i bought myself as a luxury gift like a little foot massager thing with pressure ah, points nice, so nice. i find after a hard day after i've been working and my feet yeah. are sore i'll go you know, or even feel stressed out and just that little like, yeah. you know, give them back to yourself. Man. It helps. Treat yourself. <laughs> Treat yourself. Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh, we'll talk a little bit more about uh, reflexology. I'd like to get your thoughts on something. Okay. okay. Let's get into the questions. Uh, what are your thoughts on how the world is be like starting to become more aware of like mental health and like how we're trying to like change like past misconceptions we got about it? I think it's amazing. I think that's the one blessing if we look at COVID and what it's done is yeah. it's taught us, hey, guess what? We're all the same. Everyone has a bad day. Mm -hmm. um, everyone, even people that maybe have never experienced it, have experienced loss or something or another. Mm -hmm. It's it's how you filter it. And for me, I'm, I've am i been through a lot of stuff, some traumatic stuff in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I was in an accident early last year, oh, um, wow. head injury. And it changed every a lot of things about my personality. Yeah. But I, you know, I obviously I'm more holistic and I've just tried to do things to kind of keep up and not let myself slip into that depression. Yeah. Because it's easy. I mean, it's easy just to get in a funk and never get out of it. Man, you, you're stuck there. Yeah. yeah, and then your health declines. And I really think that your mental state has everything to do with your body and your well-being. Man, your recovery, yeah, it can definitely have an effect on that. Mm -hmm. Um, what are your thoughts about social media and how do you use social media? So I'm a makeup artist in Vegas and I, I, I utilize it as it's a free tool, it's marketing. Um, I get a lot of jobs from it, you know, here and there. Mm. So, um, I mean, I think it's a, it's a blessing and a curse in this sense. I have kids. Yeah. So for them, I mean, they learn a lot of valuable stuff, but it's also they're exposed to things too. So try to be very real, you know, um, with them about that. And also know when to put it down. Like if you're on your phone all day long, I try to just do things that are going to make me feel good and like be enlightening and enriching and that seems to help. But That's it's dope. a little overwhelming. That's dope. I like that. I like that. Um, if there was one thing you could change about social media, what would it be? It, it, I want people to be more real. Mm. You know, even like in my business, the filters, they're uh. amazing. You, you know what? No makeup on? Whoa, I got this yeah. filter. But guess what? It's making the average girl Think that, feel yeah. like they're not good enough and that's, that's not... Not cool. No. Be real. You know? As you are. Exactly. Yeah. Love that. Love that. Um, are you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. All right, here we go. How do you feel about your own feet? What are your My own feet. Yes. Um. Okay. This is funny. It's just social media. I actually posted. Like, oh, take the bath. Uh -huh. And some people really like my feet. <laughs> and I think it's funny. And I don't understand that part of it. But uh -huh. the foot itself, I think. Um. I mean, let's face it. If you're if you broke your toe, it affects your walking and your balance. So true. So your feet are what ground you to the earth and what kind of everything right exactly so you gotta take care of them <laughs> so do you like your feet you don't like your feet you're indifferent about them um i like them they're very sensitive so when i get a pedicure i laugh crazy because i'm super okay. Sensitive. Okay. you know yeah no, I like feet. I'm okay with them. yeah you said you get better your feet. what are your thoughts in terms of like when a man gets you complimented about that how do you feel about it like, oh, you have nice, I mean, it's it's nice, but I also don't give out that message. Like, I don't, it's not like a fetish thing for me, so I'm not Got gonna it. cross that line. Got if it. someone wants to compliment you, nice, nice pedicure, it's nice when someone notices, Got it. Um, but not to be a weird thing. So what about when a woman compliments you about that? Is it any different or is it the same? Kind of, yeah. Okay. Uh, because I feel like women are a little more genuine. Women are not quick to pay a compliment if they don't mean it. They're not trying to pick up 
most of the time, right? Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. that's true. I'm not yeah. saying a man would, but it's like a conversation. So like a woman's not gonna, you know, they might say, oh, where'd yeah. you get your pedicure? Yeah, absolutely. Not, hey, do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> <What are laughs> Which some, is no one's business. <laughs> exactly. What are some things you do like to be complimented about? I would, I would imagine maybe it's your work that you do with like yes. makeup and stuff like that. I love that. Um, also, people compliment me on just being positive or yeah. kind of being like a bright light. So I try to like, you know, spread that positivity. If you're, you're having a bad day or, you know, you can easily turn it around and make someone else's day, pay exactly. it forward. I thought that was the first thing that I noticed about you, like when I walked up, like you took your glasses off and like, yeah, hey, how's it going? Like, I completely, like, definitely noticed like a bright personality. Oh, yeah. thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, in your opinion, what is the appropriate way for a man to approach a woman? Like, if he's gonna, like, you guys are complete strangers, he's approaching, what's the correct way to do it? Um, pay me a compliment or something, ask me something. Okay. Hey, what do you think about this? Mm. Or hey, something where it's not, like I don't like when it's just obvious, like <laughs> so hitting, yeah. I'm not saying every man would, but yeah. like something where it's very non, non-threatening, just kind of open, just treat me like you treat like your sister or, God. you know what I mean? Don't okay. look at me like I'm just a woman, like Absolutely. I'm a person. Absolutely, I love that. Okay. Yeah. Um, what's something that you would uh, consider to be like a deal breaker, you know, like potential partner to my Um, if they, don't understand that my kids come first. Yeah. Because I'm a mom, and that's the thing, yeah. Yeah. Or try. Trustworthiness and loyalty is everything to me. I don't feel like I'm all about giving space and trust as long as you're loyal. That's all that matters to me. Okay. All right, so how did you get the kids? Um, okay, so I, it had been like four months, and my feet were bad. I had some calluses, so I went and got one. Okay. It was nice. nice. Um, so not as much as I should. But I try to, I've been you do trying now. And stuff yeah, you don't? I try to, I, I'm busy, you know, and with the kids, I'm, I never really have free time. So I try to write down like self care. Oh, yeah. You know, today, you remind treat myself. Yourself, yeah, treat you yourself. do, yeah. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite color you like to get when you go? Like, any color you stick to? or? Um, I did pink like this. Okay. So pink or red, classic, okay. black even. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. Um, have you ever heard of that? Oh, that sounds fantastic. Yeah, so um, basically, it's when you go to the doctor, right? It's a specialty. Um, they'll take a look at your feet to like look at your nails to make sure like they're growing correctly. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of times you go to nail salons and they'll cut them incorrectly and end up with an ingrown toenail, right? That's so, what happens to me, yeah. yeah. Podiatrists know exactly how your toes, uh, toenails are supposed to be like. I cut. did not know you could get that done, that's cool. Yeah, so like they'll check your, your toe alignment, they check for dead skin, fungus, and they use medical grade equipment there. What are your thoughts on like seeing somebody like that? I think that's amazing. Um, I know a couple in my profession, I've seen people with like nail problems, and to me, it's always indicative of the health, right? Yes. And especially men too, I think as men, it's not pushed. You should take care of your feet. So you'll have like, take care of everything else, but they yeah, have funky feet. Yeah, and it's like, yeah. wow, you're neglecting. Yeah, you gotta make sure you take care of like top to bottom, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And not excess, not, I'm not like, I'm not, I kind of like a DIY girl. Like I'm not like yeah. super like, you know, but just something. Yeah, love yeah. that, love that. Uh, how often do you wear open toe shoes, sandals, flip flops, things like that? Um, usually a lot. Like back home, um, when it's hot, I do all summer long. Okay. Yeah, I like to be barefoot too. I think grounding is important. I'm kind of uh, more of a hippie into you that. Seg segmented me into the next Woo! one. Actually, yeah. uh, and actually, Absolutely. when I right before you met, you crossed paths. Uh -huh. I thought I should have my shoes off so I could ground, but I have boots on because clearly yeah. this was a spontaneous stop. It so, was completely. But I may take them off. Completely. You know? yeah. So, um, in turn, you said you go barefoot. So, how often do you go barefoot? A lot. In fact, when I feel a little out of it, I just try, I go out in nature and I try to go barefoot. So I do it often. You notice a difference like when you're like no shoes on, kind of touching the earth, the grass, things like that? Absolutely. Got it. Mm -hmm. Got it, it helps it. with anxiety too, for there sure. There it is. There mm -hmm. it is. All right. So now, can we see what your feet look like up close? Is that possible on camera? Uh, sure, just because I got a pedicure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're probably about to go like, you just said you're probably going to end up going to walk out here. All right. They're nice. What size do you wear? Seven or seven and a half. Seven or seven and a half. Okay. And if you take the other one off there? Yeah. Right. Okay. See, this is what I was supposed to do this. <laughs> I was supposed to take my feet off. And I'm going to get you, if you can, just scoop back just a tad bit so that I can kind of like, yeah, get you all in front okay. of me. There we go. All right. Perfect. All right. So, now we're kind of going through this. We're taking a look at your feet. What are your thoughts right now as we're doing this? Um, glad you got that pedicure. I think it's, I'm glad I got the pedicure. <laughs> I think it's interesting. Um, I wouldn't just take my shoes off for anyone, but I, I like your vibe. You seem nice and kind. You're Appreciate like that. upfront with what you're doing. So if someone just, hey, let me just see your feet. Yeah, you're like, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> really um, All right. Yeah. Cool. Let, let me get you to extend your feet out if you can. Like, and then put your toes up like this. Okay. All right. And so you said you were a size? Seven or seven and a half. Does it vary 
depending on what type of shoe you wear, like yes. a tennis shoe, a sandal. Um, I think these are, let's see. Oh, these are sevens. Like a high heel, I wear a seven and a half, but those are Got it. So, seven. like, is it for more for comfort, like, because of that? or? Yeah, because I have flat feet and they're kind of chubby, so okay. I need a little more space sometimes. Got it. Got it. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about the mental health, like, kind of why I got started in this. So, during quarantine, like, I was learning about, like, ways to, like, deal with, like, things that come at me 100 miles per hour, right? Things that I don't expect. COVID was one of those things, right? Yeah. Like, us, yeah. None of us expected, and it was yeah. interesting because I had just got back from a trip from Amsterdam, right? Nice. Literally, and I think like two weeks later, it was like COVID, and I was like, "Wow, okay." Yeah. And literally shut everything down. I ended up losing my job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. And but then, look, I mean, what did I got a new job? Yeah. Yeah. And actually, my job now is a lot better than if it wasn't for that. So like, yes. I think learning to deal with that was like a big thing for me. So learning to like, when I'm in those situations and things happen, like asking myself, "What's the worst that's gonna happen in this situation?" Right. Nothing's threatening my life for my safety. Like, yeah. yeah, all I need yeah. to do is just proceed. Like, and like, think of a positive outcome in terms of that. What are some things you do, like, when you like experience situations like that? How do you deal with it? So I too, my my business was big, was bridal, and I mean, COVID came and like all my brides just that's Did it. You say like, David's bridal? No, it's it's bridal. Oh, bridal, bridal, bridal okay. in okay. Vegas. Yeah. So I mean, we're known for getting for for weddings there, right? Okay. But everyone stopped coming, and even now it hasn't returned. So it's been really, really hard. And I'm self-employed, and I'm a single That's mom. True. So it's yeah. it's difficult, but it taught me to, I'm a planner before this, and now I just try to be fluid. Because you know what, It's my control was in planning, and when I lost that, it was out of my control, and I, w I figured, well, if I can control my mind and my that's heart it, yeah. and what I'm doing, then that's it. It's like, and, and I think that that was the biggest thing for me, like learning that like things are gonna happen anyway, right? So you can choose to like, do I be miserable like while this is happening, right. or can I like foresee something positive happening and like moving forward? So yeah, really big. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about reflexology now. Okay. So those are the different pressure points we have in our hands and in our feet, sure. and those like pressure points like correlate to various parts of our body, mm -hmm. right? So through massage, acupuncture, acupressure, you can actually alleviate stress and tension throughout your body. What are your thoughts on like? how reflexology can kind of like help you from a holistic standpoint like i think it's amazing i think even from for stress to people that just they're holding so much tension you can feel Man. it in your body and i'm big on energy i can feel it when i touch people and sometimes they just need something you know what like to just whatever, loosen that just up, loosen to like, them let up. It go. not everybody likes or is comfortable so i realize you have to be careful some spots are more tender in certain times yes. right like my hands the yes. feet but that also is indicative of again a health problem. So if you push on something and it hurts, then maybe you should go yeah, to the doctor. That's something going on. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, these are, they're, they're like telltale signs, and I think sometimes we try to ignore it. Like yeah. we're like, you know, nothing's going on, but like then you like prolong it. Like it lasts longer, or something else happens. Like this now has affected this. Yeah, so, yeah definitely. That's why I love li living holistically too, because I find that you you get to feel even if it's pain, you get to feel what you feel and learn how to deal with it instead of taking a pill for something and hoping that it's going to yes. make you better because it never does. Yes, absolutely. Rarely, like you Not have like to that. Just see. You don't know what the effects has happened to your body, like because yeah. the chemicals and stuff, like yeah. how it like, you know, deals with, because our body is made of chemicals, yeah. right? And like, you never know how it's going to like affect you in that way, so. Yeah. Our body is self-healing too. I firmly believe that if you take care of it, you can regenerate yourself. I think you, your body will give you indications of what it needs. Yeah. It's just a matter of, are you listening? Paying attention. Yes, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. So with that being said, we're in reflexology now, right? How ticklish do you tend to be? You said when you get your pedicures, you're very ticklish. Very, right? yeah. Now, I do have a trick for you. Would you mind if we test it on camera so that I can like show that? Is that okay? We could try. We could try? We okay. Could try, sure. Cool, cool. All right. So let me get you put them side by side again. All right. And I'm going to start. Uh, let's go right to left, okay? Okay. I'm going to start from the bottom. I work my way up. Tell me where it's most sensitive at okay. and which foot is more sensitive, okay? okay? One, two, three. Okay. And. <laughs> I think you started feeling it right in there, right? <laughs> yeah. right. Sorry, sorry. All right. It's all good, it's all good. Try to hold for five seconds if you can. Okay. One, two, three. So, not really at the top? No, no, no. Yeah. All right. Let's try your left hand. I mean, this one is more than the right. Okay. Right. One, two, three. Yeah, in the middle. <laughs> this one is more? Sorry, yeah, in the this middle. This one's more. Hold it for five seconds. Okay. One, two, three. Right in, yep. right in the middle. Right in the middle. Okay. Like Here's right. my trick. Okay. Wiggle your toes while I'm doing it. Less. Oh, okay. Less, yeah. All right. Let's try the left. Less, yeah, right? Yeah, less. You know why it's less? No. So because your foot can't pick up on that sensation. Your muscles moving around. So oh. that sensation is not hitting that exact area. So, yeah, that's a trick. You go get your pedicures. Like, you're starting to feel Wiggle a little ticklish. Toes. Wiggle your toes just a bit. That's like, okay. it'll start to alleviate that a bit. Yeah. Cool. Let me get you to do a couple exercises. This is the test, like, dexterity, like, how fluid your motion is, okay? Can you bend your toes over and make a fit? Hard to do. Box. Okay. Get you to spread your toes. Come in if there's any pain or discomfort. Easy. Yeah. 
Okay, relax. We're going to talk about 10 seconds. Tell me if you're going to pain or discomfort. Easy? Yeah. All right, cool. Relax. All right, so let's wrap up the interview now. Okay. All right. In terms of my approach, I'm going to ask you to do the interview. Is it good? What's it bad? What are your thoughts about my approach? on sitting and doing this I'm kind of in a hurry but then same thing of being fluid like you're just gonna hurry to run to the next thing so I'm like you know what cool I'll sit down with you you seem nice and, have a talk right and I like <laughs> that you're you want to talk about holistic stuff and and mental health I think is so important and you know we need to just check in with everyone Absolutely. you know it doesn't Absolutely. or be kind just be kind everyone Love needs it. kindness Love it. Um, in terms of the interview from start to finish right did you see how everything was going in the line did it make sense did you learn anything new from the information yes what did you learn? Um, the medical grade pedicure. I, I think that uh, I'm going to suggest that. Check that people. out, right? Yeah. <laughs> then oh, you yeah. just learned about the ticklish. Like if you're yes. ticklish during your pedicures. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. So the last thing I'll ask you from a mental health standpoint, maybe a life lesson you learned, some wise words somebody once said to you that you say to my channel that could be helpful. For mental health? Yeah. Whatever. Like whatever you want to do. So I think being fluid is important in today's world. you can be you know you can rise above yeah and i think um having said that like we all have bad days and yes. feel what you're feeling don't mask it don't go get drunk because you're yeah. feeling like this don't go take pills because you're feeling like this feel it be real be, and i tell my kids all the time be real it's it. okay talk not about to be it. all right right it's okay and you know <laughs> communicate or write it down if you can't talk write it down even if you Love rip that. it up get it out if you hold it up that's when you get all the you know, health problems so be you know, be real try to connect and, and just find those things that make you yourself a little bit. Love that. Self-love. Love that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Definitely appreciate you Welcome. stopping to do the interview with yeah, us and we hope that you have a great one, okay? Thank you, you too. All right.